getting comfortable in new surroundings. These recently hatched albatross are settling into their nests after a successful breeding season at the Royal Albatross Centre on Tairoa Head. We've just finished um, uh, hatching just uh, a couple of weeks ago, so our, our youngest chicks now is now two weeks of age. Um, we've got uh, 26 uh, healthy chicks at, um, right now. These chicks will stay in the nest for eight months, growing up to 12 kgs in size. Due to that lengthy period, adults only breed every second year, fitting in a break from the strenuous process. The hatching of these 26 chicks pushes the total count of albatross up to 250, but it'll take time to grow numbers substantially. In the last um, three years, uh, we've fledged uh, about 75 chicks. Um, so if we get another 24, 25 away, It'll be 100 in, uh, in four years, so that's, uh, that's been quite an, an achievement. Um, but of course it's going to be a number of years before those birds come back and start adding to the population. High temperatures have been difficult for the young chicks who are relying on the shade of their parents while nesting. The ground temperature can breach 40 degrees Celsius, which has killed birds from heat exhaustion in the past. The remote centre has an irrigation line set up connecting to individual nests, but it constantly needs funding. We've set up a Give a Little page and we're aiming to raise $5,000 and this is to truck in water from town to help with the irrigation system to keep the albatrosses cool during the very hot El Nino summer. For the first time ever, the Royal Albatross Centre is streaming a live video feed of the nests and chicks' progress via its website. Annabelle Dick, 39, Dunedin News.